we're here because it's Restart a Heart Month and um, as one of the coaches for Sheerness Swimming Club, um, we felt that it would be a good idea to incorporate that into their swimming training. And I have a daughter who was at school in year six and was doing the cardiovascular system as part of her curriculum. And we were talking about that and what that meant and how that was incorporated into part of my job and the kind of different aspects that I do, so education, research, clinical. And um, she suggested that I come to her school and start that teaching there. So we contacted the, the class um, teacher and she was over the moon and, and the kids thoroughly enjoyed it and learnt loads. So we're essentially teaching people how to get help first and foremost. Um, we're then taking them through how to identify if somebody's unwell and what they can do before the ambulance arrives. So uh, the recovery position for people who are well enough to be able to receive that. Um, and then how to identify when somebody would need CPR and, and how to start that and initiate that process. Well, we, uh, as a club, we're growing all the time. We've got over 140 members. Um, this is not something that we would teach at the club. Uh, and there's quite often situations where they're heavily involved in physical exercise. And this sort of thing is always got a potential to occur. And I think it's, it's, it's very important that they understand what they should do in an emergency, how to raise help, um, how to save a life. Um, we know that um, if somebody experiences a cardiac arrest, um, then bystander CPR and early defibrillation has a huge positive impact for the outcomes for those patients. So the more people that know about CPR, how to get help and how to get that early defibrillation is life changing. It, it can be the difference between life and death for our patients. Personally, I've found the CPR training a great experience for the whole club. And it's a brilliant skill to learn and I think that's great that they've come down and took the time out to teach us it. I think that's really important with swimming because anything could happen in the pool and I think that the more people that know it around us, like the safer we're going to be at training and the safer we'll be around other people when we are swimming outside of training. Mannequins, um, we initially were borrowing when we started this out and they were quite old um, and not really fit for purpose. We put a bid into our hospital charity and they um, they were able to provide us with new mannequins and so they provided us with the small mannequins to be able to provide this service and they've given us three large mannequins as well so that we can deliver more education around the deteriorating patient in the hospital. It's helped to, to drive down uh, avoidable um, deterioration so it's been really beneficial for both the community and the trust.